Welcome to www.chrislinfordco.uk Get Going Guides. We're looking at WordPress and we're looking at the appearance this time uh, and how to change the themes uh, on your website. So it comes with a standard theme uh, that it looks like and you can, if you click on themes here it will show you what they are. And if we view the site this is what we've got where I've put in a new picture uh, and stuff before. So if we go down to themes, we can change a theme at any point. The beauty of uh, WordPress is it doesn't change the data, it just changes the position. Uh, and WordPress just works on that, and the theme is the thing that does that. Each theme comes with slightly different options. So these the this theme, I can change widgets, I can change menus, I can change theme options, I can change the background color, and I can change the header. So I can do different things. Uh, with it. So widgets, I can, it gives me the widget uh, menu. If I want to change the menus, it takes me to the menu item. If I want to change the theme options, it tells me that I can change different ways of presenting the data, I can change the colors, and I can have the sidebar on the right or on the left, or with no sidebar at all, which is what you do if you want to make it look more like a normal website rather than a blogging site, and I just click save on that. And so I can do different things on here, but I can change the theme at any time. So it, WordPress comes with two themes installed for you to play with, uh, and you can just add more. To change the theme, you just click activate, and it will just change the theme. And you can see here that I've got less options with this theme uh, to work with so I can't do some of the things that I was able to do before. Uh, but now let's see if we just view that. It's instantly changed it and it's changed the theme here. Now what you will notice is that this theme doesn't allow drop-down menus. Some themes do, some don't. Uh, and so you just need to find a way, find a theme that does what you want with the look and feel that you have uh, on your site. So you can see here my title is there and now my subtext is there and it all rearranges itself in different ways. So if we go back to themes, what we want to do is to install a new theme. To do that, just click on install themes button and a bit like anything else, you can just do a search room. So I'm going to call, put class in there and up come all sorts of different themes that we can then install. So I want a classroom blog, I want all sorts of different stuff uh, from there. So I quite like um, this one. Let's give this a go. I've not looked at this one before. We'll install it. So it's already installed it. Uh, so we go back to themes and you will find that it has now appeared at your uh, theme and I can just activate it and here I can change the backgrounds and the theme options and all sorts of different things there. So let's see what it looks like. And this is where it is. So uh, I haven't changed any of the logos or anything, but you see I've got my site panel there and all the blog information. There. But I've got no menu at all uh, in this one. So you just have to thumb around themes to find the ones uh, that you want. Let's just click on do class again. And I know this one quite well. took a bit of time and we're going to activate that and go back to themes you can see that we've got it working here I can only change the widgets and menus I can't change uh, anything else so I can uh, work on here but uh, let's see what it looks like so I can't change the backgrounds or the headers or anything on here and you can see here that it appears and again I get no drop down menus uh, on here but I can see different pages as well. So these are the things that we created uh, before. And it doesn't like my calculators uh, and things there. So uh, some things you find work, 
some you don't and you just play around with it so that seems it's a bit trial and error it's not a problem if you just want to get back to where you started you just click and activate the original one and then you're back to where you started so you've lost nothing you don't lose any data all it's changing is the look and feel of it and what you'll find is that you get a standard set of themes that you like to work with which you can easily manipulate and then you can see where you're going from there so that's it for themes uh, if you go to wordpress.org you can see thousands of themes there and you can just download and play around with the ones you want uh, when you want it so this is www.chrislinfordco.uk you can find me at the website you can find me on itunes and you can find me on youtube